From the front page of the Daily Trust, we go straight to the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Well, challenge Sanusi's detention, banishment. With the riders, defront Sanusi speaks, says his removal, will of God. Adds his predicament, nothing new. Solicits support for new Emir. Local too local for Sanusi, and that's coming from Emir. We're not mourning, don't condole with us. And that's coming from Sanusi's daughter. How influential northerners forced Gunduje to change Sanusi's banishment from Upanda to local. Defront Emir Sanusi gets new job from Governor El Rafai. And uh, you can find that on page 11 of the Vanguard newspaper. Other stories from the front page of Vanguard. Coronavirus. Senate sets up committee to reverse it $57 oil benchmark. 2029 projection Lagos to experience 270 days of rainfall state government alerts Fitch rating signals downgrade of Nigeria's sovereign rating Dakuku hands over to Jamo at Namasa strike federal government summons ASU other stakeholders to meeting tomorrow as reps intervene Atedo Peter side condemns Senus's removal APC crisis, state chairman divided over Oshomole. And there's a picture here of Makinde signing a Motefun bill. It has the Oyo State Governor, Engineer Shei Makinde, signing a Motefun bill into law. With him, from left, Deputy Speaker, Oyo State House of Assembly, Abiodun Fadei, Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Oyewo Liliwo, Deputy Governor, Engineer Rov Olaniyo, Speaker, Oyo House of Assembly, Debo Ubundoi, and Secretary of State Government, Mrs. Ulubamewo at the Osho at the Governor's Office Secretary at Ibadan yesterday. And those are the stories from the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. From the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, we go straight to the front page of the nation. Outrage over banishment of deposed Emir of Sanusi with the riders, lawyers, Etedo, others, confinement illegal. Ex Emir relocated to Awe. Rulers seek comfort for former monarch. And there's a quote here in front of, uh, on the front page of the nation newspaper that reads, Pa is transient. Before my ascension to the throne, someone was Emir. So what happened to me should not disturb anybody. I thank Almighty Allah that brought my reign as Emir to a peaceful end, devoid of crisis. We call on the public to remain peaceful. Whosoever is made the Emir, they should respect him. May Allah provide us with a good leader so that our land may return to us. And uh, there are some writers to the story. Uh, lawyers to sue Kano government. Antigraft probe continues. Emir Abayero visits ancestors' tombs. Ex monarch was queried by Kronkosov government. Other stories here. Stocks lose 985 billion naira in two days. APC crisis. Party chiefs at Secretariat with the rider, no National Working Committee meeting. Mark India warns criminals as Amotepu gets legal backing. And you can find the picture on the front page of the nation. Other stories, coronavirus taking huge toll on economy, says President. Why NUC stopped Unilag convocation? Varsity Council sidelined. Lagos threatened closure of Ladipo markets, others. 240 days rain coming. Buhari, 3.7 billion naira cash stolen from NDDC recovered, with the rider 6 billion naira assets frozen. Four prospective core cool members abducted on way to camp. Owe is ACF chair. And those are the stories from the front page of the Nation newspaper. From the front page of the Nation newspaper, we go straight to the front page of the Daily Sun. Defront Emir Sanusi dares Ganduje from exile. Legal team to challenge removal. Moved to new location. Banishment infringement on his rights. That's coming from Sislak. EFCC to issue criminal warrant against the Zani. Asu strike paralyzes varsities with the riders. Reps summon labor education ministers. Wag gets new boss. Union like governing council indicts VC over botched convocation with the rider accuses him of undermining its powers. Falling oil price. Senate prepares for downward review of budget. 
with the rider as Buhari sends tax bill for further amendment. Oshia Mole, loyalist absent at APC National Working Committee. State chairman denying passing vote of confidence. Lagos Assembly seals offices of four suspended lawmakers. And there's a picture here of President Muhammad Buhari with the Minister of Niger Delta, Gatsula Fabio, Governor Yesam Wiki of River State, Governor Rotimi Amechi of Ondo State, and some other governors at the State House in Abuja. And those are the stories from the front page of the Daily Sun. From the front page of the Daily Sun, we go straight to the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. Lawyers battle Sanusi's banishment as he gets new role in Eurofi's government, with the writer Kano Antigraft Agency to resume his probe. Other stories, APC crisis, acting national secretary holds national working committee meeting ahead of net. Border closure, 7.3 billion Naira item seized, 697 illegal migrants arrested, and that's coming from customs. RMAFC plans national conference to review revenue formula. Kidnappers to face death penalty in Oshun. Coronavirus to cost global economy one trillion dollars in 2020, and that's coming from UN agency. Reps, NNPC, AGF, security agencies differ over 20.4 billion dollar lost to crude oil theft. ECA, Senate demands identity of lawyers paid four million dollars professional fee. With the writer frowns on depletion of funds from $325 million to $71.8 million within one month. $3.7 billion are recovered from NDDC contractors, ex-directors, and that's coming from Buhari. Uh, there are pictures here on the front page of the Nigerian Tribune with the U.S. State Governor, Mr. Shein Bakinde, signing the Amotekun Bill into law at the Governor's Office Secretariat in Badon yesterday. Another picture of the Minister of Interior and Guest Speaker, Mr. Rolf Aregbe Shola, Executive Secretary, National Board for Technical Education, Dr. Masood Kazare, and the Rector of Lagos State Polytechnic, Mr. Luinka Shogunro, during the 27th Convocation Lecture and Exhibition of the Polytechnic in Ikorodu on Tuesday. And those are the stories from the front page of the Nigerian Tribune. And from there we go straight to the front page of the Guardian newspaper. Officials moved to make Sanusi's exile less painful. With the riders, El Rufai appoints former Emir to Kanu Investment Board. Senior advocate issues 24-hour ultimatum for clients' release. Abolish monarchies now, says top Islamic cleric Rumi. President, presidency sends conflicting signals over Kanu governor's action. Other stories, Buhari moves to Gazette's February 1 date for VAT increase implementation. Reps intervene as varsities join ASU 1 in strike. EFCC arranges undergraduates for $5,886 for iPhone theft. Power tussle, personal interest as Unilag's bane. Fall train oil prices, FBI, FDI set Naira. 2020 budget on risky paths with riders capital importation drops by 1.8 billion dollars foreign reserves fall to 36.18 billion dollars fair over saudi plans to flood markets with more oil and there's a picture here of the president Mohammed buhari minister of women affairs dame pauline talent the first nigerian president of the medical women's international association Dr. Eleanor Mwadenobi and other members of the group at the State House Abuja yesterday. That, those are the stories from the front page of the Guardian newspaper. And with that, we come to the end of the newspaper review on Kenneth 104.1 FM. My name is Ife Ajag.